some drinking some coffee. Why? Wow, because I have a few minutes before work. He's sitting next to me. Right, so I just pulled into work, and I have about five minutes, and my hair is crazy. Forgot to brush it before I left, so this is it unbrushed. Um, looks the same as always, so like I don't, looks like I never brush it. <laughs> I brush it like twice a week. Um, okay, so today I just wanted to sh tell the plans real quick. Um, I thought, oh, I'll do a longer day in the life video today because yesterday sucked. And then I noticed like a few of my other day in the life videos, they were like super short. So. This is the next day in life. Oh, excuse me. This is the next day in life, and I'm going to do a longer one. So I'm actually going to do a better day in life. Because <laughs> the other ones, I noticed, were pretty short. Um, I am going to... Okay, so I'm working. I'm getting off. I'm running by... Um, Safeway for just a few things uh, a Gatorade and a some sweet potatoes for lunch and then I am going home the house is a, just a mess it's a wreck like nobody's had time to do anything everybody's been busy you know errands and school stuff and basketball so um that will probably be top priority. And then... Um, and then... Oh, sorry, I lost my concentration. People were walking by. Um, that'll be top priority. And then Belle has practice, basketball practice. So either her, either me or her dad will drop her off. And then dinner needs to be prepped. And then dinner needs to be um, served to everyone. And then to clean up dinner dishes and stuff. Because waking up trying to make coffee in a counter full of dirty dishes was horrible. Um, and then... Oh my god, sorry. And I'm sorry if that just made you yawn. And then, um, after that, Belle needs to be picked up from practice. And then come home, get the kids ready for bed. And then around between 10 and midnight is when I need to pick up Juliet from her babysitting. So I have to stay up for that. So I might as well do some work on my laptop. So I'm super tired today. I get approximately four hours of sleep every night and usually it's pretty fine but like today I'm just like super tired I feel super tired um I'll need like espresso or strong coffee or something I think I fixed some espresso in my work fridge um so I'll see if I have any of that but that is the schedule for today it's already going to be a long busy day and I need to have energy Oh, and I need to call the hotel um, in at the coast over here to rent a room for March because in March, I think it's 15th, the everybody has basketball tournament in Lincoln City. So everybody's like uh, getting hotels for that night because it's Saturday and Sunday. So might as well spend the night there. Um... So I need to do that. Hopefully there's a room left because I pretty much procrastinated and waited to the last minute. Um. Yes. Oh. Sorry. Dropped my phone. Good job, Christy. Um. Anyway. Alright, that's that. 
at least I told you the schedule for today, what it's going to be. Um, now that I've talked for five minutes and now I have to go to work. <laughs> Eight by Gates. I am going to head into, I'm on lunch right now, and I just parked at Starbucks and the Bed Bath and Beyond store is right next to where Starbucks is. So I'm going to grab a Starbucks for lunch, basically. And then I'm going to walk through Bed Bath and Beyond, just kind of like relieve some stress. Today is absolutely horrible. <laughs> oh my God, it's horrible. Um, so I'm hoping some coffee will help. And I didn't want to take it. I didn't want to use money on coffee, like take it out of my checking. I didn't have any cash. And then I realized my Starbucks app on my phone, um, my star that Starbucks card, I have $6.40. So I'm going to go get some sort of iced coffee. Okay, so I got my coffee. I got a five shot grande americano. A little bit of half and half. So it is packed with caffeine, which should help, right? One would think. Anyway, I'm walking into Bed Bath Beyond right now. So I'm not seeing a whole lot, but those are cool. I got one of those rock lamps for Lincoln from my work, and he really liked that. Dogs need some toys. That's a good tent. That's a good bucket for um, the dog house. <laughs> that is a good bucket for a laundry detergent that I'm making. I am looking for a bucket right now, but I don't see any yet. Candles. Candles are my favorite. Oh, I love candles. So I am off of work now, and I'm heading home. I'm about to head home. I'm still in the parking lot at work. Um, I have so much to do. I don't know if, like, if you guys have felt this too, I'm sure you have, because I'm sure it's, like, not just me. But have you ever felt that um, you know how many errands you have to run tonight, or you know how many places you have to chauffeur people around, or you know how much you have to do, um, and then you think, like, <laughs> you get off work from a long day of work, or a hard day of work, or something, and you get off, and all you can do is think about all this stuff that you have to do before you can actually sit down at work, or sit down at, at work, sit down at home, and all I can think, like, it's just one of those days where all I can think is my mind is constantly running with all this stuff that I have to do. And I have, like, this huge long to-do list inside of my brain, and it won't shut off. Which I think is my problem at night. At night, I literally don't sleep very well. I get approximately, uh, approximately four to five hours of sleep every night. And last night, I only got two and a half, so that really sucked. Um, but I just, I don't know, at nighttime, I just seem, I can't shut my brain down, apparently, or something. And I just keep thinking of all the things that I have to do, and all the things that need to be done, or, like, last night, um, the house, I didn't know, I didn't know, um, Juliet wasn't going to be there, and... The house was a mess, and Belle and Lincoln did their chore, but I guess Juliet has uh, dishes or the kitchen, and every time people don't do their chores, I just pick up the slack. And last night, or yesterday, I just, I didn't. I could not do it. I was tired. I had so much to do. I was running people around everywhere. And then, um, I only got to stay for half the game. And that had to take Lincoln home because he had a headache. And then, you know, rub some oils on him and stuff and put him in a hot shower. 
Anyway, all I can think about right now is all the stuff that I have to do when I get home. It must just be that type of day, maybe, or it must just be stress. Um, I'm trying not to feel that way. But I know um, Charlotte's babysitting tonight until, like, whatever, 10, 11. So I know when I get home, if I don't do the dishes and the whole kitchen, nothing's, none of that will get done. So, oh, I'm just having a bad day, apparently. Uh, it's fine. I'm just having a bad day. Um, anyway, I'm going to head home and see if Lincoln has any help, uh, homework that he needs help with. And then, oh, and then this Friday, he is really excited because this Friday, I told him we would go to the library together. And that is kind of our thing. That is something that Lincoln and I do um, because he needs something special. Like, you know, Juliet has all her friends and uh, sleepovers and Ashley stays at her mom's house and which is one of her best friends and then Belle has basketball and she's Belle's constantly gone at sleepovers or something um birthday parties and then Lincoln does that when he when there's like opportunities like his friends have birthdays or something but he doesn't have all that so the library is something that he and I do together so we're gonna do that on Friday and he's really excited we're just gonna go we're gonna browse we're gonna pick out some books um I'm gonna try to get off a little bit early maybe um, so, cause I love meeting them at the bus stop when they get home. It's just like a block down from our house. So, all right, well, I'm going to try to like de-stress on my way home. Somehow I'll listen to my rap music. Maybe I'll listen to Eminem <laughs> and then I will, um, if everybody is happy and not moody, well, I guess even if they're moody, that's a day in the life, right? That's part of the day. Um, I will record clips at home. All right, bye guys. Just swept, and what are you? What are you doing? My pants are too big. They fit this morning. Those are your same pants you've been wearing. Oh, have you been wearing a belt the whole time? No, I hate belts. <laughs> well, maybe somebody needs to fatten up. I don't want to fatten up. Well, maybe you're supposed to because you've been exercising so much by playing basketball. Doesn't mean I have to become fat. No, but if you want your nice jeans to fit, you have to be fatter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Each of the kids is, and Juliet, no matter how late she's coming home tonight, she's going to do hers too. Um, but they're all, all these clothes I've washed, so they're going to all get their clothes off there. I just swept. I'm not even going to show you the kitchen. The kitchen looks horrid, and I need to do the kitchen. Um, I knew I lost all my tank tops. I just found three. You're welcome for washing. Um, here's some money that Belle has earned for these two boxes. These are the DC fundraiser trip boxes again. And then what I'm working on in here is... Oh, it's kind of dark, sorry. I'm working on... Oh, I need to work on my laptop, actually. I'm working on cleaning my art room, and then this place needs to be, hold on, let me put on her shoes. This place needs to be, um, dusted, or wiped down with the sanitizing cloth. I'm gonna go ahead and clean, I'm just double checking outside because he, Lincoln is, you have not seen him hug me, even though he's usually the uh, second one. Uh, he is over at his friends, Colton and Colby's house, playing. And, um, I don't know if he did his chore. He can do it when he gets back. If not, it looks really good, actually. Maybe he did. Um, so I'm going to <sighs> clean the kitchen. I'm going to have Juliet pay me to clean the kitchen, though, because she has not been doing any chores lately on, and it has been, I usually do them, but one, two days of pile up. So I'm back in my craft room. Um, as you can see, I am cleaning stuff out right there, and the table's looking better. Um, I'm going to work a little bit in here, and then Lincoln wants to play Clue, because we usually always play board games together. So we're going to play Clue, maybe Battleship, or um, what's the other game that we like? Oh, Candy Lane. We both love Candy Lane. Uh, so we might do that. And then I need to start dinner. I think I'm making burritos or tacos tonight. So.
so the healthy version with turkey burger, don't tell them. Um, <laughs> and then I do have, right here I have all my paint stuff ready to repaint the walls because I don't want them this dark purple anymore because that's what the like the actual laundry room is and I want um, my craft room to like look different so I'm gonna paint it a really really light tan and then the trim around all the windows right there are gonna be white so I have white paint to make them like more white than there and then that will make like my craft room is really distinct and it's not a laundry room kind of thing so even though even though it's like the corner of the laundry room um, so I'm going to work a little bit back here and then I will show you guys my progress. Excuse me. This is what I'm having for dinner. And then Lincoln and I, um, Rob and Belle are at basketball, playing basketball right now. So Lincoln and I are going to play Clue together. Didn't mean to blind you. So we're going to eat our dinner and play Clue. Let's see, but I am going to, it's 11 o'clock or 10.59. I'm picking up Juliet from her babysitting right now and I was actually painting in the craft room um, so I had to stop. She better be thankful and there's raindrops but it looks like I have like some sort of disease but I don't.